up you guys we're gonna go ahead and jump straight into this all i did was put a little bit of salt on my oxtails put some um, vegetable oil in a skillet let it get hot and right now you really just want to let it simmer off or sear off you want to get like nice and brown on the outside of your oxtails this is basically just securing the juices in your oxtails so that way when you do put them in the crock pot they're nice and tender and just juicy so you'll see right now that's what i'm doing i'm just making sure that they're seared on all the sides i put the smaller ones in there first because those got brown quicker and then yeah you're gonna let the rest of them sear off as you can see they got nice golden brown i'm gonna take the rest of the um oil that was in the pot and put it in there along with some soy sauce and this is my favorite seasoning i should have slowed it down but i'm gonna put um the link in the bottom where I get the seasoning from. I get it from Walmart, but I know they don't have it at all the Walmarts. Um, but I'm just moving the seasoning around on the oxtails and then adding water to it and adding a little bit more of the jerk seasoning. You want to put your crock pot on high and you're gonna keep it in there for six hours. That way you ain't gotta worry about dealing with it, you know? Go ahead and close it up and then now we're going to get on to the cabbage i like to take the dark green parts off of my cabbage and then you're going to take the little hard part out i like to cut it in half it makes it a whole lot easier to cut and then you just cut them into like you can cut it however you want to cut it but i like to cut mine kind of like into little ribbons and then i take the hard part that's still on the inside out now i like to use butter and a little bit of um, vegetable oil with onions in my cabbage also you'll see later on i end up seasoning it with salt pepper sugar and um minced garlic And this is just a little trick for those who, as you can see, it's still garlic in there, but it won't come out. Just add a little bit of water, shake it up, and boom, you in there. The rest of it's going to come out. Oh, gee, I sound so unbothered. <laughs> but you just go saute the cabbage, y'all. It's going to, you want it to well. I personally don't like to cook mine until it's soggy. I like for it to have like just a little bit of texture to it. All right, so now we're gonna start on the beans and rice. I already rinsed out the that stuff to be in the can in the beans. I don't know what this called, but you rinse it out because you don't want that in there. And then I have some coconut milk, and I'm just gonna take the coconut milk and I'm gonna steep the. Uh, the beans in the coconut milk now normally I would have did the rice with the coconut milk and water but I already had some rice done so this was an easier way for me to do it without having to you know do all the extra stuff so if you don't already have no rice done go ahead and steep your uh, rice into coconut milk you're gonna most of the time with jasmine rice it is um, like if you got a cup of rice it's a cup and a half of the liquid so you do like partial and partial so you do three-fourths water three-fourths coconut milk so on so on okay so it's been it's gotten to like the last two hours of the oxtails needing to be in the crock pot so what i'm doing right now is just doing like some slice uh some thin slices of the red bell peppers and i'm gonna do the same thing with the onions after i get done with that just throw it in the crock pot and then let it finish cooking. And y'all, please excuse my quarantine stomach, honey. I was working out and doing everything before the time quarantine. And now I done got like 15 pounds. So please excuse my stomach, honey. I'm going to be back. I'm going to be back right. Yep, it's, it's going to happen.
right now I'm just kind of you know moving them around in the juices and then you're gonna go ahead and put your onions and your bell peppers in the crock pot close it back up and let it do its thing all right, so the last thing we gotta do, you guys, is the plantains. Me personally, I just love this version. Like, I said this version. Lord, this brand of the uh, plantains, you could buy them fresh from the store and cut them up yourself and do all that good stuff. But my friend bought these one time and I've been hooked. All you need is some butter and let them things get nice and golden. And you in the dough, honey. You in the dough. All right, so now I just took the oxtails out. I just gonna wanna go ahead and make like a nice little sauce with the base that we got. You take some cornstarch and a little bit of water. As you can see, it already thickened up because the liquid is already hot. So as soon as it hit it, it thickens up. So that's it, y'all. I hope that y'all found this video very informative because people have been asking me about my cabbage and my oxtails and stuff. So I figured I'd go ahead and do a little video while we on this quarantine, you know. Please make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see y'all on the next one. Have a blessed one.